Hello everybody. Let us move into a fresh topic today. This is about value education. Myself, Shubha, working as assistant professor in chemistry, RMD Engineering College. Value education. The most important topic of the day. Let us move into this topic a little into detail. Moving into this topic, let us all know about this word education first. Though all of us are so familiar and so comfortable with this topic, education actually refers to the process of facilitating learning. It is the acquisition of knowledge, skills, values, beliefs and habits. It is also a self-learning process. Speaking about the types of education, we speak on education based on three different types to start with formal education, value education and value based environmental education. Formal education is simply a self related process because we all know that all people know to read, write and get good jobs and tackle any problems only with the help of formal education. It is a learning process which is completely self related. The education next speaks about the analysis of behavior and character that imparts moral value. I would say that value education is nothing but learning about the self and learning about the wisdom of life. It can take place through any human organization and we can classify value education into two types. We call them as explicit value education and implicit value education. When implicit value education refers to acquiring skills and knowledge without conscious awareness explicit value education just means the opposite of this the third one is about value based environmental education where importance is given to learning about the environment just imagine if you have the consciousness of safeguarding the environment how beautiful the planet around would be the well being of our future lies in nothing but value based environment what is the need for this value education starting from elementary schools onward until professional colleges this topic gets so important it is even being included as a compulsory topic in the syllabus just imagine a person is very highly qualified he is well employed he has a very rich living style but if he does not know to behave properly and if he doesn't know to safeguard his environment is this the correct way to live a life i don't think so but value education will help him to improve his lifestyle create an attitude and improve towards sustainability create an awareness about the history the culture and the heritage of a thus value education is very important to create and develop an awareness about the environment to know about both the biotic and the abiotic community and the way by which it interacts it also helps to improve the integral growth of all living beings i would say intense love does not measure it just gives concept of value education to know the importance and the concept of value education let us pose ourselves into a number of questions if we are able to answer these questions as expected then all of us would know the importance of value education let me move on to a few set of questions why should we use renewable energy should we keep the environment so clean should we go on for organic fertilizers is it important to use less water how is it possible or why should you separate the garbage into degradable and non degradable waste well i would try answering a few of these questions students why should you use renewable energy was the first question can i answer it in this angle the use of these resources contributes to the more efficient use of own potentials in energy production it definitely reduces the greenhouse gas emission it reduces the fossil fuel imports and most important of all a number of local industries start developing and jobs are created let me move on to the second question why should you use organic fertilizers organic fertilizers helps to improve the soil by escalating the soil's ability to hold water and nutrients it definitely decreases soil erosion it also 
helps in adding more natural nutrients, feeds important microbes in the soil and improves the structure of the soil. Moving to the third question, should we use less water? Yes, all of us also know that we cannot live a life without water. Saving water helps to preserve our environment. It also reduces the energy required to process and deliver water which in turn helps to reduce pollution. Moving to the third and the last question. Why should you separate garbage into degradable and non-degradable waste? Biodegradable waste gets decomposed by the microorganisms like bacteria, whereas the other waste should be disposed wisely so that it doesn't harm the environment. So they recycle and reuse it. Thus, separating these two ways help us in managing these wastes properly. Now, most of us would now realize the importance and the concept of value education. When you have a hold to love the nature around you, I think value education is simply in methods of imparting value education. There are several methods or strategies by which value education can be imparted. The first one is called telling. In this method, a value-laden situation is given to a pupil. He makes his own narration and explains the problem. It's a very simple method by which value education can be imparted. The second one is called modeling. In this method, certain individuals are perceived as ideal values themselves. They are presented to the learners as models and value education is explained through this second method called modeling. The third method I would remind you students is very simple and very interesting. It is followed in most of the rural areas by which role plays and street plays are selected as methods by which value education can be imparted to even laymen. The fourth method is called problem solving. This is one of the very best methods which helps in decision making because this method focuses directly on group discussions and general talks. A problem is given to the audience, a dilemma is presented Problem solving is the best method by which a person decides, discusses and finally imparts value education through decision making. The last one is by studying biographies of great men. Biographies of great men. I get reminded of Dr. Abdul Kalam. I think you mostly call him as the father of the Indian missile technology. He is one of the very great persons who played a prominent role in India's nuclear weapon test. Most of us take his life as a great inspiration. I get reminded of young Kalam years ago. He had to distribute newspapers after his school hours to add to his father's income. This man of such great simplicity became the missile man of India. And I would like to take an example of his life and explain you how value education is very, very important. One day, when one of his co-workers had taken permission to leave early from work so that he could take his kids to a carnival, but due to some reason or the other, this co-worker of Abdul Kalam could not be free on time. When he reached home very late in the night, his wife told him that the children were already taken to the carnival and Dr. Kalam had visited their house very much earlier that evening. This is value education, my dear friends. Studying biographies of such great men will definitely help us to know about how value education is becoming so essential in our day-to-day -day life because love and compassion is most important than most other values in our life. Types of values. We have five different types of values. The first one is called universal or social values. These values tell us about the importance of human emotions, love, joy, compassion, tolerance, justice, etc. The second one is about cultural and religious values. Cultural values give respect to time and place. They are concerned with what is right, what is wrong, what is good, what is bad. It gives importance to aesthetics, education, economics, etc. The third one is about individual and ethical values. The most important of all values, I would say. This holds on to the personal principles, the personalities of an individual, his experiences, his relationships, his commitments, etc. The next one is global values. This helps us to maintain an ecological balance, to 
have a very good human civilization to respect nature at its best etc the last one is spiritual values this helps us and it gives importance to conservationism and transform our consumeristic approach i think we have come to the end of this video lecture dear students value education is not something that can be obtained through colleges schools through video lectures or through textbooks it is something that is to be imbibed from within yourself i get reminded of the life of mother teresa she was such a beautiful soul we all know about her life story her life was so much of controversy some people may not even agree with her works one can really see that she exudes humility and she was such a helpful spirit we can get inspiration from her life to help and build each other she refused the traditional noble honor banquet instead requested that the 192000 dollars money would be given to help the poor of india don't we take lessons from such people look at this quote friends for great men religion is a way of making friends small people make religion a fighting tool with the words of our abdul kalam and mother teresa i end up this video lecture thanking one and all